welcome back viewers after a long break of around 15 days we are now back to uh, creating videos for you so uh, we are going to start a new video series and the distro chosen for the new video series is blend os it is a completely new linux distro uh, this is the website of the uh, new distro it is called blend os it is a blend of all linux distributions so we will check out uh, what is this exciting blend of the different Linux distributions in the video series starting from today. So this is the website https blendos.co. Uh, you can uh, directly download it from here right on the top of the web page the try blend OS link to download the ISO is given and you can learn more about the uh, distribution from here. And this is the screenshot of uh, the desktop uh, in the blend OS. So here you can see the different terminals. So you can see the Fedora Ubuntu is running at a time. And you can see this Pacman uh, package manager is also there in the terminal. And you can see Arch. So uh, basically you can use Arch. You can have Fedora packages. You can have Ubuntu packages. And you can use the Pacman uh, different package managers also. One of those package manager that is Pacman, which is used in Arch, Arch uh, Linux, is given here. Now there is a note here: Blend OS is based on Arch Linux, but you can use any app from uh, any of the app from any of the distros supported by Blend OS, or you can even install a desktop environment from any of the distros and use the distros in standalone sessions. Now. Uh, the features of blend os are given it is immutable system so blend os is an immutable operating system this means that your file system is read only just resulting in stable experience gnome is the officially supported desktop environment but you can also choose from other desktop environments such as kde plasma xfc at the time of installation for users who are familiar with the blend os setup you can use uh, any of the hundreds of thousands of applications from any of the distributions supported by the blend os the creation of containers is managed by uh, managed by the dist uh, distro so what exactly uh, happens is that suppose you choose to install a app from say ubuntu then that app will be installed in a separate container so there will be a container for ubuntu there will be a container for say fedora and if you install any of the apps then this container will be created and that app will work in the container for, for that operating system suppose a certain app you have installed belongs to fedora then the fedora container will be created and that app will work inside the container so you can have multiple containers belonging to multiple uh, linux distributions running on blend os Besides the default session, you can also install a desktop environment from any of the distributions and use the distribution in standalone sessions. For example, if you use the Pantheon desktop uh, in Fedora, maybe the Pantheon will be installed as a standalone session and it will be installed in, inside the container of Fedora and you can use this uh, desktop as a standalone session. You can use app app. Uh, get dnf yum pacman and ye all together from blend os shell just like you would use them on their native distributions like ubuntu fedora and arch so this is uh, not uh, definitely not uh, very uh, new uh, already if you, uh, you if you are using ubuntu fedora or arch you can install other package managers also for example you can install the snaps on uh, Fedora also, you can install the snap on uh, Debian also and vice versa you can install apt on Fedora also. So this is nothing new but what they have done is they have added the container. So if you use any of those uh, different package managers and then uh, if you install a app from that package manager then it will uh, create a container for the operating system. For example, if you use uh, DNF or yum to install a uh, package then that package will be installer uh, installed in the container uh, 
belonging to Fedora. So Fedora container will be created and all the apps belonging to Fedora will be installed in that OS, uh, that particular OS container. Further, uh, flat packs are also supported. You can install them through the flat app store included in the blend OS. And now let us check out the supported distribution. So Fedora Rawhide is supported, Arch Linux is supported and Ubuntu 22.04 and 22.10. So the latest stable and the rolling release for Ubuntu are supported and Fedora Rawhide is nothing but the unstable or the we can say uh, testing uh, branch of Fedora. So first step we have to take with the blend OS is so they have got a user friendly setup app. So you can use this setup app to install blend OS on your system. It is available with only the GNOME desktop. So first by default the GNOME will be installed and when you boot into the new system you can install any of the desktops of your choice. You can use any package manager in the same uh, blend OS shell. So the shell is common. You can install uh, and use different uh, package managers. Here you can see it, the apt package manager is there. Ye is also there. So different versions of the apt, APT package manager and uh, Ye are given. And also the uh, DNF and RPM package manager is also given. So the, uh, you can check out and uh, compare the versions and check out whether they are the latest packages or not. You have to just go back and then compare those packages with the Fedora or Ubuntu uh, Linux distribution. So all the latest things will be available. All the packages, uh, APT, uh, APT, DNF, RPM latest packages will be available because uh, they are using the rolling version in Ubuntu as well as the stable version, Arch Linux is of course you know it is the all latest packages are available and in Fedora Royal also uh, since it is a testing branch all the latest packages are available. So you will get uh, the latest packages in uh, Blend OS also. So you can use uh, a desktop in any of the distros so you can install Gnome or Mate on any of the distro of your choice Ubuntu, Fedora, or Arch and use the distro as a separate standalone session. Just run. This is the command you have to run. Blend install dash de gnome. Replace gnome with a mate to install mate and add uh, dash dash distro name to specify a distro. For example, you can specify Fedora dash rawhide. So the command will be install dash de mate and then you have to uh, give a space then dash dash say if you want to install it from fedora mate desktop from fedora you have to use fedora dash raw rawhide or you can use ubuntu 22.10 so it will install the mate desktop from ubuntu 22.10 something like that you have to do so we will all uh, try out all these commands when we will do the desktop review and this is the flat flat up store so the flat up is available as a desktop app from which you can install flat packs easily removal is not implemented so if you install any app from the flat up you cannot uninstall it from the store so you have to use the flat pack command line to uninstall any of the flat uh, flat packs you are installed so in future they will install the unimplementation also but right now on uh, removal or on un uninstallation of uh, flat pack packages is not available so you will have to use only the flat pack command line to uninstall the packages and finally this blend os installer jade gui so it is called jade we have adopted the excellent installer uh, installer from crystal linux to help you install blend os with a desktop environment or a window manager of your choice Gnome for the new users, KD, Plasma, XFC, Sway and i3 for users similar to the uh, familiar to the blend OS. So this is all the packages, uh, sorry not packages, uh, this is all the desktop that are available for installer uh, right from the blend OS installer. So you can choose any of this uh, desktop to install when you will first uh, use the installer.
to install the blend os on your system gnome is the default uh, desktop for installation you can choose this other four uh, desktops this kde and xfce are desktops sway and i3 are the window managers so two desktops and two window managers are there and you can use blend os uh, on mac also so the mac version should be t2 so blend os team has worked with the t2 linux project to add support for the t2 max so what are t2 max all intel max made after uh, 2018 as well as imac pro 2 uh, blend os so all these uh, machines you can install the blend os and for that there is a separate iso available to install on mac os so you have to use this link to download this iso for the uh, mac uh, system frequently asked questions can flathub uh, store installed apps directly or it just downloads the flat flat pack refs yep yeah, the flat pack store installs apps directly using the soc next behind the scenes instead of downloading their flat pack refs and requiring manual installation does uh, blend os use pacman or its own package manager no blend uh, os uses blend package manager designed to work with the multiple uh, distributions Although Pacman can 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 be used from a shell, it runs inside a Arch container. So each of the package manager will run insta inside its container. Arch, that is the Pacman uh, package manager, will run insta uh, run in inside the Arch container. DNF package manager will run in uh, inside a Fedora uh, Fedora container, and uh, the APT. Package manager will run inside the Ubuntu container. How do I run system updates? You can run blend system dash update to install system updates. Unlike on uh, unlike on Arch, uh, where you will be using the Pacman uh, space dash syu, will simply update the Arch container and will not update the blend. So, if you use this Pacman space dash syu. Then it will only update the Arch container. Similarly, if you use sudo apt uh, upgrade, it will only update the uh, this uh, your Ubuntu container. It will not update the Blend OS. So for Blend OS, you have to use this Blend uh, System dash update command in the command line interface to update your Blend OS. And if you use any other uh, package manager, it will update or upgrade the corresponding container so you have to keep this in mind and finally again they have given a download link to download the blend os iso and at the bottom you have got the introduction feature distribution okay and there is some support links for twitter telegram and discord so you should definitely visit the these links and mingle with the community at the blend OS, so you will get a better idea of the operating system and other things regarding the blend OS. and i think the developer of blend OS is rudra saraswat he might be the single developer or maybe a team of developers is work, uh, working with rudra saraswat to present us this beautiful concept of blend OS. So with this, I think we will stop the video here. There is what is this learn more? Oh, okay, it is only showing the link to the bo bottom of the page. So that's it. I think we have checked out uh, everything regarding the Blend OS. So we can now start with the installation of the Blend OS uh, ISO from the next video onwards, and then further we will uh, review the desktops, and then we will check out how to do the update, how to upgrade the containers and all those things we will check out in the next video see you in the next video bye bye